Okay, for posterity's sake, today is Monday, March the 16th, 2015, and tonight I'm going to remove my X-Wing sliders, and then tomorrow night I'm going to put on some other sliders that I bought, and then you'll have to see those then. This will all be one video, so you don't have to worry about it, but I just want the time date marked for myself. So this is my X-Wings on my FJ. If you go back, you'll see a video where I put these on. And uh, really, really love them. Really do. Still love them. Absolute great sliders. Recommend them to anybody. But that's this side of the FJ. Hopefully we can... That sign I know is... Here's the other one. In fact, I'll try to get a... Try to get an overview here first. If I can. And let's just walk up on it. And there's that slider you can see there. Well, a little dirty. They've been been used a little bit, but they're still in fantastic shape once they're cleaned up. And uh, they work good. They look good. They are good. So again, highly recommend them to anybody. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these. I'm going to hang on to them for a while. May sell them later if I'm really happy with the other ones. But I'm really happy with these. But just got to do the other ones for for testing sake. So. It's a whole FJ, and so I'm going to try to make a video here and show you how to take these things off. So the bolts on these are 13 millimeter, so I'll be using these two right here. You can see right there's one, there's two, up there's three, back here's four. So there's four places that these hook on to, and I want to show you as best as I can what this whole job entails got these jack stands here little cheap ones but they'll be more than enough I believe I'm gonna stick it up under three of those to help me hold this thing up until I can get it all the way off and then uh, do the same to the other side so let me put those on there and we'll see what the so actually I believe I'm just gonna go ahead and start with two see put one there leave that third one blank right there and then this one and I'm gonna start up here in the front taking this look. Right you see one bolt and up there hopefully you can see the second one right there in case it's kind of dark. Tell you what I'll do. Hopefully that's enough that you can see that bolt up there and then that bolt right there. So there's two like that. You can see on every one of these. So I'm going to take all of those off and uh, then we'll give it a test to see what it looks like. Okay so so I'd show you the first bolt right there. I'll even hold it up for you. You can see, so that's it. I mean, so there's just there's eight of these in total. Obviously, two on each one. You can see right there. I took it out of the bottom one. So the top one, that's in a tighter area. So I'm going to use the the wrench for that. So we'll go with that. Okay, so I got the second bolt out. That's the last one I'm going to show you until I have them all out. But I'm just showing you this, just to show you if you're ever going to do this job. You can see right there is where that upper bolt was. And you're, you're blocked in there. So trust me, when I tell you, this is your best friend for doing this type of a job. These ratcheting box ends here that uh, you can use. Uh, it's 13 millimeter again for all of these. So at least on the ones that I've got on these Demello here. So this is your best friend for doing this job. So let me go ahead and finish this one up and then I'll show you how to get done at it. Okay, I've gotten two loose. So I got two more to go, that last one and this one right here. Just wanted to show you I've moved this up here since I've got that one done. So I'm gonna loosen that one off. And then I'll probably move this one up to here to get it out of my way. And then that way I'll have two holding this thing and then I should be able to get it out of here pretty easily. Just wanted to show you that. All right, just wanted to show you what I did before I took the very last bolt off back there at the back. You can see I've actually got this one up underneath this thick part here. I've still got that one down on the third arm. And I brought this one, so I used all three, put it out here. Right now this thing is not bolted on. So these jack stands are holding the whole weight of that and holding it to where it didn't come down and crush me or nothing. So just to back it up a little bit. That's the whole setup. What I've done, and over there's all the bolts. 
So I'm gonna pop that slider off. One thing I can say about these DeMello sliders, they sure are heavy. But this is what the FJ looks like without the slider on it. Pretty wild. And I put the slider in the garage here. There's the bottom side of it. You see I scratched up a little bit here and there. A lot of that's dirt though. And there's the top end. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and set it up the same way on here and get this bad boy I cannot taken. begin to tell you the amount of grief this bolt right here gave me. This thing would turn and turn and turn on this pasture side up at the front on the bottom. And if you can look real closely at these threads up in here, you'll see that they were the culprits. Or hopefully you can see. I don't know if you can or not, but those were the culprits. This thing would just spin and spin and spin in there. I tried cutting it off. You can see evidence of that right there. Last night with the Dremel, just couldn't seem to, to get to it because of where it was at. That didn't work at all. So, I simply took a small screwdriver, banged it up underneath that washer, that big washer right there, and took my wrench, and as I pulled as hard as I could on this, cranked it and got it out some, and then got a bigger screwdriver and kept pulling on it to get, to get leverage on it, and that was how I finally got the darn thing off. So now, I'm ready to put these three stage mellow sliders on. That's what the pasture side looks like with nothing on it. Here's one of the, that's the Demello slider I pulled off last night. I showed you, this is the one that I just got off. And I tell you, those X-Wings are heavier than these. Stage three pre-bands here, I'm telling you. But that's what the FJ looks like. Without sliders on it again, it just seems so much higher, it's kind of weird. I'm gonna go ahead and start bolting these things back on. And, uh, Show you what to look like as soon as I get that done. And while I have a little light, here is the first one on. Right on the pasture side. And the screen material there. Big D.O. And that's what they look like. Whew. Now I gotta get to and to complete this job is just the video so you can see I've got them on it got way too dark on me last night uh, today is Wednesday March the 18th 2015 so it took me Monday night and Tuesday night to do this job but it's done hopefully these are coming in well see the way they look you can see the big D.O. right there this way if I can hopefully and of course a shot this way and then we'll look at the other side here and here's this one so again we'll get the close up first there's the DO on that one and you can see the way they look Nice and easy to step up on, good and sturdy and all that good stuff as well. So that is a completed job. Let's get a, get a low shot here, if we can. Let me go to the other side, get a low shot there. Here we go. So that's the slider job, so finally got those on.